If you can tell by my hair, clinicals beat me the F up today, okay? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is a brand new week. It's Thursday. Well, it's not a brand new week. It's just a brand new vlog and a brand new vibe. Anyway, <laughs> um, if you're new here, my name is Tameta. I am a nursing student. I'm a CNA, PCT, everything in between. If you like that type of content, go ahead and stop what you're doing and subscribe to my channel. Also, go ahead and hit the, um, whatchamacallit, the bell so you know when I drop my next video. But anyways, y'all, I'm just refilling all of my stuff. I just went grocery shopping. And I thought I would just go ahead and start off my vlog because today, I promise you guys, I will tell you some very exciting news. This morning, I went to finalize all of my stuff for a brand new job. Um, your girl is going to be a nurse extern, y'all, in, <coughs> in a trauma ICU. I cannot believe it. I'm so scared. And this is the very first time I've been scared to start a job. But let me give y'all the rundown. So clinicals last semester, I had an amazing clinical instructor. I'm not going to say her name, but she was amazing. But anyway, long story short, she really poured into us our entire clinical. It was our very first clinical rotation, but I really came out feeling like I could do something, you know, or take care of somebody. But the hospital system that I live really close by, they hold um, extern fairs where you can go and like interview with different um, tables and everything at different units. So I went to the extern um, fair, y'all, and I landed a job. And I landed a job in a, I think it's a level one or level two, trauma ICU, surgical neuro trauma ICU. And guess who works there? The clinical instructor that I was just talking about. I am so freaking scared. Um, quick story time during our clinical rotation it had nothing to do with the ICU but she was just so sweet and she took us to see the unit and y'all it was this guy that just had gotten to a really bad car accident and like the his leg had like rods going all the way down and the techs were like helping him move and it was just like I've been in intense health situations but not like that so I'm scared I'm excited but I'm scared but I think I'm gonna be fine. Um, but yeah, that is the big news I've been holding from you guys. And lately I've been practicing discernment and just making sure everything is in my favor before I just spill my beans. But yeah, y'all, and y'all hear everything first. Y'all hear from me. I tell you guys a lot of things before I even tell Instagram. So anyways, that's the big announcement. Tomorrow is Friday. I probably am just gonna go to the library because I have a lot of stuff to catch up on. I have to do my dosage calculations. So I'll be working on that. I have like a lot of what we call preppy questions. It's like you have to keep taking the questions until you get to a certain level. And this, sorry y'all, this semester, instead of it being like mid-level that I have to get to, I have to get to the highest level to basically pass the, t or pass the um, assignment. So I have a lot of work to catch up on, but I still want to come in and say, hey y'all, I'm about to finish putting up these groceries and I will chat with y'all a little later. Also, real quick, this was my very first time seeing this. It was kind of like in the, you know how stores have international flavors? I mean, international, <laughs> international aisles. I saw this, saw it in the international aisle, and it just looked like mm, cucumber lemonade. I would definitely be trying this. And I even bought a little, <laughs> I bought a picture just so I can like, so I'm gonna try to know how that goes. All right, you guys, I am back. And I know it seems like I've been in the kitchen a lot, but I promise you I've been studying. But it's time to make dinner. I'm trying to be more intentional this year and like, you know, make dinner, not eat out, not DoorDash, not Uber Eat, cause that's really all I do. If you know, you know. 
But tonight, uh, um, <clears throat> I am going to make some pork chops. The last vlog, I went out and my friends took me to this one, like, real, like, hole in the wall eatery. Some pork chops and some fried okra and y'all. That was the best fried anything I've had in my entire life. But I will be smothering them. And then I got some Brussels sprouts because we also ate Brussels sprouts. I'm just craving that whole night. Bacon. Um... Some smoked bacon. I'm gonna like cook the bacon down, add some onions, cook the um, Brussels sprouts down in the bacon grease versus lamb grease, but everything is greased, so it should be all right. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make some dinner. Y'all can go ahead and join. And I'm gonna show y'all how I make my food. Good morning, guys. It's literally the time for me to be leaving the house, but I just woke up. And yeah, I am so freaking tired. I feel like no matter how much sleep I get, I wake up exhausted. See you guys in a little bit. If you guys can believe it or not, I live in one of those states where the weather literally changes in a drop of a dime. I vlogged last week, it was pouring down. Y'all saw how bad it was out there. It was pouring down. And now today, today it is literally 19 degrees. Like, bro, I'm so over the weather. And I say all that to say, sorry y'all. I say all that to say, I am so sorry about the lack of vlogging, but you just know when you cold and you're just trying to get to where you gotta go, like, that's how it was for me this morning, so. Uh, um, it's definitely a brand new day here in my world. I'm on the way home today, or the time is about 10.55 a.m. Lab is supposed to be done at like 1 a.m., oh, child, 1 p.m., but we're done early today. So yeah, I'm on the way home, I'm excited. I'm probably gonna go ahead and study. I have my um, externship orientation that's kind of on the same day as lab next week. So I'm gonna call them to see if I can get it rescheduled. But I heard that when you reschedule it, they send you like to a really far campus to get it done. And I really don't wanna go like super far. And I really wanna get on the floor. So uh, I don't know. It's a whole fiasco. I'm trying my best to like get through it, but I just wanted to check in with you guys and say, hey. I'm on the way home and I will see you guys a little bit later. <laughs> well, the time is 8.05 and I have to leave the house at 8.15 and this is me. But I am confident I will make it out on time. Today's lab, so I need to find my black scrub. The countdown begins. I kinda made it, it's 8.13. I, ooh, I am semi dressed. Well, I'm all the way dressed. <laughs> um, all of this is from Cherokee. No fix today, but um, crap. Yeah, all of this is Cherokee, Cherokee, Cherokee. I cannot wait to get my hair redone. Ugh, but we out. <laughs> All right, y'all. 
I am in the car. I'm late. I'm three minutes. It's eight. Oh, four minutes. It's 8.19 and I was supposed to be in the car on the road by 8.14. My, I was listening to a podcast before I got in the car and it just cut y'all off and started replaying itself. But anyways, um, I am on the way to lab, y'all. I kind of told y'all a little bit last or yesterday, but I have been having the craziest time. And I knew this time was coming up because I knew I was going to have two clinicals a week, two days of class a week. So I knew it was coming up. I just don't know if like I knew it would be this intense. I had to get me, ooh, can't even see me. I had to go get me some tacos. So it's so funny, every Tuesday, cause I have, oh gosh, I have lectures on Tuesday. So every single Tuesday I go and get tacos, y'all. And it's literally been like three, four weeks of school at this point. So I, this Tuesday, cause today is Thursday, or oh gosh nursing school will do it to you today is wednesday i went to mcdonald's so funny i pulled up right next to it and it was okay and everything of course i had a really bad tummy ache later on that night but i say all that to say why did i just go get um tacos like i had to make up for yesterday because yeah today was a really good day we had skills lab and it was our last it was our last skills lab so I'm actually really excited about that. Um, and on top of it being my last skill lab, I have um, simulations coming up. Sorry y'all, driving in the city that I go to school in is so hectic. It's like playing go-karts. It's not even driving, it's playing go-karts. I just really think I am a NASCAR driver on my spare time. So when people on the road are NASCAR drivers too, oh shoot, I'd be getting mad. But anyways, um, yeah, let's catch up guys. So this has been a very overwhelming week for me. My son, I told you guys, he has a fever. So, and it won't break. So today actually when I go home, I, I just realized I have to take him to the doctor. So yeah, we're trying to figure out, I think he has the flu, but he's asymptomatic. Um, he only has a fever. So he's fighting something off and I just can't put my finger on what it is. Today at lab though, um, we mainly did central venous devices. Any line that goes all the way to the tip of the heart is a central venous access device. We learned today how to um, maintain them, how to clean them. We as a nurse does not change the dressing. We as nurses do not insert the dressing, but we do clean them and maintain them and make sure that they're properly taken care of. So that's what happened today. I was so nervous and it's because we're not really practicing anymore. Like before last semester, we would practice the skill before like actually doing it and we haven't been doing that. I feel okay about it. I, get, I keep telling myself like, this is not real life. In the real world, you're gonna have residency. You're gonna have like people supporting you and like telling you things more than once because right now, I truly feel like I am learning and doing and learning and doing and not necessarily like understanding. Well, I understand because, let me back it up. We have to watch a video prior to coming to lab basically on the skill and then we have a teacher demonstrate it as well. So it's been a little weird um, not having the extra time to like practice, but I mean, I've been passing them and I think they understand that we don't have as much time, so they're passing us. Hold on, my watch is stuck on something. Um, so yeah, I don't know how I feel about it. Today was our last one. I'm not really pressed about it anymore. As a nurse right now, or as a student nurse, I feel like my most, my biggest concern is like just like critical thinking like they keep pushing that critical thinking and i know i have critical thinking skills but it's just like dang how much do i need like am i really efficient as a nurse and that is <sighs> i have many answers to that question different days i feel like i am you know competent enough to take care of a patient some days i don't feel that way today was okay but <sighs> Tomorrow I have mental health clinicals, so I'll probably see you guys then. I'll chat with you guys a little bit in the morning. But yeah, y'all, today has been gloomy and rainy and cold, so I'm just gonna go home and do what I gotta do. I will see you guys in the morning. Oh, 
y'all. If you can tell by my hair, clinicals beat me the F up today. Mm. Child, I had my mental health clinicals today and I am 1000% sure he is not the father. No, I'm playing. I'm 1000% sure though, I am not a mental health girly. I'm not a psych girly. I'm not none of that, y'all. I don't even know where to start. Like, today was so crazy. If you're in nursing school and you've already had your mental health clinicals, please comment below what you did to get through it because I am like, I don't want to go back. I only have one more week left. And I don't know, like, basically when we first get there, we meet with our professor or the clinical instructor, and then she just, like, throws us out there. The first place, the first unit we went to was progressive care, and um, that's basically where they've, like, come down. Like, they've been there for a little while. They're cool. They're calm. They're collective. They're not, like, combative or anything. So I was there, and we actually, I had a good time there. I'm not going to lie. I met some really cool girls, like, I would be friends with in the real, real world um they just happen to have you know something going on and honestly one thing i will say about mental health clinicals is that um we're all one step away well not one step but we're all like having the same type of issues like some of us are suffering from depression some of us are um you know going through different things let's drink a little wine every night some of us you know and not really see any phi one of the women in there was there just because she wanted to detox and she wanted to like you know clean her system out she drank a bottle of wine to two bottles of two bottles of wine every single night and she was just tired of it so it's just like kudos to you girl for one recognizing that you have a problem and really doing something about it so um <laughs> but when i was telling my mom about my experience last week she was like the main thing is is just to learn how to assess these type of patients because of course they may end up in the icu one day they may end up on a med search floor in the real hospital or and that's really where they come from before they go to their actual clinical site i mean to their actual um facility so my mom was like i know it's hard i know it's scary but just learn how to assess those type of people like learn their baseline learn how they act when they're calm um all types of things y'all but this is day four out of five tomorrow it's not school related it's work related but i definitely am feeling like <sighs> i've never had to be so responsible i don't know if i've already said this but i've never had to be so responsible in my entire freaking life and before i end this really quick checkup with y'all I just want to say keep going keep going girl you're almost there if you're a nursing student if you're a pct definitely for my home girls for my pct and my cnas keep going because you never hold on this is shaking and i really want to tell y'all this without it shaking if you don't mind my hair because i look toe up from the flow up but if my pct and my cna girls are still watching and following my journey y'all keep going because i was just in those shoes and 100 percent, i feel like everything that i went through everything that happened to me is helping me so much like quick story time because i have to go in my house i really have to pee at uh, my last critical care job i was working with pediatrics in a cardiac icu and i always like would have to stock the like how when it whenever they have to start an arterial line or whatever um a pick line they have this certain cart and i would see these little discs like i was the one responsible for filling these discs in y'all why did i just go to clinical to lab yesterday and we had to do how to change a central eye dressing i already told y'all and the one thing that was really important was the discs like it keeps the site from being infected so y'all god was already like putting these materials in my hands god was already getting me prepared for this so even if you feel like what you're doing day to day is not meaningful it is keep going what i thought was meaningless was actually truly helping me out so yes y'all i'm hot i'm sweaty i'm signing out mental health clinical week two beat my butt I'm about to go in there and get my life together, y'all. So I will see you guys in the morning. Ah! Y'all, I made it through the week. Don't mind this stain. This stain on my sweater is literally a representation of how my week went. Ah! No, I'm just playing, y'all. But today is Friday. I just came home from my very first orientation. Um, not really an orientation. You know, when you start a hospital job, you have to like learn their charting software. So I went to go do that. I really didn't chart. I mean, chart. I really didn't um, record or vlog during that process. And it was really just us playing on the computer. 
so it was not that much to vlog but just to wrap it up or to tell you guys what i did this morning the time is now 11 30. i left the house this morning around i would say 6 45 a.m y'all and i am finally home a crazy crazy week i'm so happy um it's over i had two of my first exams on the same day on the 30th which is next tuesday and it's just like dang i couldn't split that up like the week is over but it's really only over for me to start like studying now so i just wanted to come in and check in with you guys i feel like i have been ripping and running this entire this entire week y'all and i don't know if i already said this but i'm gonna say it one more time so y'all understand how freaking busy i have been so mondays i have clinicals right i go to my med surge clinicals all day tuesday i'm right back at it at 9 a.m and i have to go to lecture and lecture is from 9 a.m to 3 p.m mind you clinicals from med surge is from 6 30 a.m all the way on until like 5 30 p.m so right after i'm done with that i have to jump into tuesday's lecture um once i'm done with that wednesday i have med surge lab so basically lab is like you go in you do your simulations you do your different skills and all that so i do that and then thursdays oh thursdays is mental health clinical that I really am not able to film, guys. Um, they said it's a law that you... I don't know if it's, like, specifically for um, mental health facilities, but I cannot film at all. Like, they said that if I pull my phone out... <laughs> I honestly think she was exaggerating, but they said if you pull your phone out while you're on the floor, honey, there's a camera that, like, zooms in and, like, girl, whatever. Talking about, oh, it's only one chance. You know how sometimes you get three strikes and you're out? It's only one strike and you're out. I'm like, okay, cute, whatever. So yeah, I won't be doing any vlogging there. I have a little clip of when I was in the restroom just to show y'all how the restroom is. But anytime I'm around patients or anything that may have PHI, which y'all shouldn't be filming me while I'm in the restroom. So whatever. And it's only three weeks. I only go three times for 12 hours. And y'all, those hours for your clinicals be so freaking long as far as mental health med surge it's easier because you have stuff to do you're mimicking a real floor nurse which they're busy floor nurses are running around they have five to six patients you're doing vitals you're drawing labs you're passing meds you're starting new ivs so it's like there's stuff to do and before you look up 12 hours has passed versus in my mental health clinical y'all it, first of all, let's let's break it down. Let's break it down. Mental health clinical goes by so extremely slow to me because one, I have never been in a mental health facility. Not a memory care for seniors, not nothing. So just like for the very first time being around people who are truly mentally unstable beyond their medical will, it is extremely weird. Like I'm not gonna lie, it's really, really weird. And not even weird like to be um discriminate discriminative against the people that are sick it's weird for me because i am a talker i talk so much to the point where i really don't have a filter kind of so last week like i said it's only three weeks of mental health clinicals but last week it was like a lot of riffraff with like getting our paperwork and making sure we have all the things that we need and by the time it was time to get on the floor we only had like two three more hours at this clinical so it was okay like we really didn't talk to them like that we sat in on a few groups you know toward the hospital toward the facility and that was it so it kind of flew by then but y'all this week thursday it was like come in drop your stuff off we're gonna hit the floor <laughs> scared it was me one of my other friends from nursing school and this really really nice gentleman that we all we're all in the same nursing cohort so we're just like we go in and we just grab the charts because they have like these paper charts that you can read so we just reading the charts reading the charts like just trying to look busy and she our clinical instructor comes over and she was like you guys are gonna have to interact with the patients today you're gonna have to try and start a conversation and i'm just like like what are we want to talk about these people do not want to talk to me and fast forward that is another thing with nursing school they're going to teach you about this in fundamentals is just checking your own self biases and making sure you're self-aware because that was definitely a bias of mine thinking that just because they're in here they may be upset they may be depressed like if i was there personally which is again self-awareness if i was there i probably would not want nursing students all in my face asking me questions so that's how i went into the situation but after like my teacher just kept on saying you have to jump in there we had to go and jump in there. So 
me and my friend, we was just so scared. We were like, what are we going to say? Like, how are we even going to sit down? Because there's like a, um, there's like little tables everywhere. And they have like these really big, heavy chairs. I'm assuming so they can't like throw the chairs at people. But these really big, heavy chairs. And I just walked up and I'm just like, hey, can I sit with you guys? And me and my friend was so nervous. We literally sat in the same chair like butt to butt. It was so funny. But they were cool. I say all that to say, do not be biased, y'all. They were cool. The girl had been to Japan. She had been to Tokyo. She had been to Mexico. I mean, and you never know if any of this stuff they're telling you is true, but it was good. We talked and she was like a normal person. There was another girl that was talking to us. She wasn't as chatty, but like I said, once you just be yourself and not like this, hi, so I'm a nursing student. And I was like, yeah, girl, I want to get a piercing on my belly button i was telling them about the tattoos i wanted like it was really chill because mind you these females are literally the same age as me and you just never know what people are going through so overall it was a really really it ended off really well i'm really excited next week y'all um i have the exact same schedule <laughs> monday through friday um and Fridays are usually my free day, but I have to go for my very first day on the unit so i will be vlogging that because i have an eight hour shift I may not be able to vlog on the floor, you know, but if I do get some quiet time or some downtime or maybe just after my shift, I will come back and let you guys know how my very first day in the trauma ICU went. Your girl stayed with a job, okay? You're back at it again on Monday, clinicals Tuesday, the whole nine yards. Uh, but yes, if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of content, y'all. And yes, I will be seeing you guys next week. Definitely, if you have any questions, because I really, really enjoy you guys' comments, even if you're just saying, hey, I love when y'all check in with me and say, hey, or let me know you're starting school. I love to see those comments. I'm starting in January. I'm starting it. Like, I love it. This is your community. This is the fam. Go ahead and join. Press that subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell so you know when I drop my next video. And yeah, um, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.